good afternoon. Welcome to another edition of A Big Build. So we're on week two. It's actually Tuesday today, so um, they're not here today, but they were here yesterday. So let's take you outside and see what they've done. It's very exciting. I don't get out much, can you tell? So here we go. Here's the back garden. So you can see the footings are all dug out. So that is the sheeting for the uh, the concrete to be poured into. This here is a bit of a makeshift um, runway, shall we say, to get the, the digger out of because the digger was over there digging out all that, and I had to kind of like get it out of the out of the garden to get rid of it. So yeah, it's coming on quite nicely. So all this spoil it either needs to be used as backfill or it will be getting removed from site. So the skip on the front is full. Um, he said he's not going to get another skip until next week uh, because obviously they can't get a lot of this spoil out until the concrete's been done. So tomorrow we've got a big delivery coming. Hopefully we'll be getting rid of that skip on the, on the front to get a new one next week. Big delivery of bricks and blocks. And God only knows what else tomorrow, so that should be a fun day. Um, and then Thursday I think we've got the um building race guy coming out we have had some good news though they have drilled through from the downstairs toilet into the, ga the garage and there's about 165 mil difference on the floor which means they don't have to dig out the garage floor if there was less than 100 mil because we've got a 50 mil sorry, doggies want to let doggies in so because we need um 100 mils 50 mil for the screed 50 mil for the insulation we needed at least 100 mil floor difference between the garage and the kitchen or the house and it just so happens it's 165 mil so happy days they don't need to dig the floor up in the garage that will save us a few pennies and save us about four days work he says so all in all a good result so yeah it's all looking pretty good at the minute um obviously the doggies have not been out in the garden because they can't they can't go anywhere that clown where is he he will end up going into it. She might go into it, she might not. Say hello, Seth. Say hello, see. Oh, hello. Hello, no. Oh, I've got a doggy nose. Got another one now. Say hello. Oh, how cute are they two? How cute are them two? Anyway, I'm sure you don't want to see the dogs. This is about the big build. So, yeah, so um, it's coming on all right. Stay tuned. And we'll see exactly what is getting delivered tomorrow. Right, it's Thursday. I didn't film yesterday because um, it was rainy and it was horrible out there yesterday. It was nasty. Uh, anyway, it's Thursday. There's nobody here today because there's not much they can do. But I will take you outside to see what's happened. Sorry, that's my washing machine. I'm, I'm very multi-talented, you know. Cameras, work, washing machine. Yeah, work is never done. So anyway, here we go. There's not much in the way of actual works that have been done. That, uh, there's, a, there's a pipe down there that's being fixed later on today. Um, so obviously there's still the, um, the footings, but you can see we now have bricks and blocks in the garden, all ready for, uh, for the foundation. So that's the some sh shuttering for the foundation. So they're coming back tomorrow. Well, they're coming back today to fix that uh, quickly. They're coming back tomorrow to prepare the trench for the concrete pour on Saturday. So again, it should look a little bit different um, after tomorrow, but Saturday is a big one. And uh, then Monday we've got the bricklayer coming. So all being well, the weather should hold off. It's, it's forecast, rain, high winds today. So I'm hoping it doesn't actually do that much damage to the programme. But at the minute they're ahead, uh, it's just the concrete works. They can't do much until the concrete works are done, but at least it's all prepared. They've had no real issues this week. The building inspector came out yesterday and he's approved everything. So that's a massive thumbs up. Because he could have said, no, I want you to dig deeper, wide or whatever. But no, he's quite happy with the works. Um, so yeah, all being well, tomorrow is prep day, Saturday's concrete day. So we'll check in tomorrow, see how they're going. And yeah, it's coming on fantastic. <laughs> so excited. Can you tell? So it's Friday. We've reached the end of the week. And let's go and see what's happened outside. So you may not be able to see much difference. 
what a little bit has happened. So they've been today, and uh, what they've done today, they have. They've done a proper repair on the pipe down there. And you can see they've got some shuttering in. Well, you can't really see a great deal of it, but you can see there's some shuttering in ready for the concrete tomorrow. Underneath um, there, there's also all the sand ready for the um, brick, brick layer next week. And obviously all the bricks and the blocks and yeah. I mean, it's good if I don't really want to use my garden, is it? Because it's a freaking mess, let's be honest. But yeah, so uh, not massive amounts of uh, difference from yesterday's, but still a bit of a difference. So hopefully tomorrow we'll see a difference with the concrete. And then obviously next week's a brand new week. So next week we should really start seeing some differences. Um, so the building inspector came and he's approved everything. So I think I might have said that yesterday. So yeah. This is probably going to be another short video this week about the progress, but it's not going well. It's going really well. Even, even the contractor said it's going very smoothly. So let's hope, touch wood, it carries on. So sorry, that was me knocking on there, sending the dog farming. So um, stay tuned and we'll see how it looks after the concrete fittings are in. Exciting! Right, Saturday. Saturday started a little bit disastrous. So we went out at half past seven this morning, took the dogs to doggy daycare, so they're out of the way of the concrete, and we went out for the day. The builder was here at half seven when we came, when we were about to leave, so we could just discuss a few things with him. While we were talking to him, he had a phone call from the concrete company saying, uh, basically they've had a power outage and they couldn't deliver the concrete, to which obviously was, oh my God, no, this could really affect things. So he told them that it needed, um, he needed concrete today because he got five people on site. It was going to cost him wages. And um, the only day he could do it was Saturdays. Anyway, long story short, we went out, we kept checking the cameras and eventually about 11 o'clock some concrete turned up. So um, he rang me about 20 minutes ago just to say they've got six cubic metres today. He's got another two coming on Monday afternoon and some more blocks coming on Monday. So we have got some concrete. Do you want to see my concrete? So exciting. I'm very excited. It's also uh, absolutely tipping it down with rain. So we got home at the perfect time just now, but look, look, there's concrete. We've got concrete, look. I'm not, I'm not going right out there because it obviously looks like a building site because it is a building site. But it's very exciting that there's concrete. So that, ladies and gents, ends week two of the big build so stay tuned because obviously in two days time we'll be starting to film again for week three so given it's a 16 week program and we're starting for week three already it's actually going really really quick so it's very exciting things are starting to move and i think once it gets out of the ground next week with the brickwork and the block work i think it will start looking a lot different every day so obviously this last couple of weeks have just been site set up and a bit of uh the obviously the foundation so you can't really see a massive amount of difference apart from more mud good job we're getting the garden done in it so yeah um stay tuned thanks for watching thanks for sticking with us and i hope well i don't think you're probably as excited as i am about the big build but i hope you're excited to see what's coming next week so yeah thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe catch you later